Let's begin our look at ways of presenting statistical data. The results of an algebra test, fictional at that, are shown in the table below and to the left. The table is called a frequency distribution because it shows how many times a particular score was obtained. So here we have the score itself. So there were two students that got a 99, one that got a 98, three that got a 95, five students that got an 84, all the way down to one student that got a 56%. A histogram is another way to show the distribution. In this case, rather than looking at every individual score that was obtained, we're going to cluster those scores and say, well, here's the number of students that got a score between 50 and 60. Only one student. The number of students that got a score between 60 and 70 were two. There were six students that got between 70 and 80, 16 students between 80 and 90, and 10 students between 90 and 100. So let's use the histogram above to answer the question. Which interval contains the most scores? Well, that should be pretty easy to determine. The 80 to 90 range has 16 students with scores in that range. Which has the fewest scores? Well, the 50 to 60 range only has one score in it. How many test scores are above 80? Well, we've got 16 plus 10 more, so there are 26. How many test scores below 70? Well, here's 70. There's 2 plus 1 more, or 3. So what we want to do now is look at a new way to represent the scores, and that's draw a stem and leaf plot. Stem and leaf plot, and it'll look something like this. We're going to write the tens digit from each of the scores above. So we had scores in the 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90 range. And that's called the stem. And what we want to do is write the leaf here as the actual ones digit from the actual scores. So there was 156, there was a 65 and a 68. There were two 73s. We're going to write them both down so that this stem and leaf plot kind of functions like its own little bar chart. So we get two 73s, a 74, two 75s, a 78, two 80s, etc., out to 387s and two 88s. 290s all the way up to 299s. So the numbers used to describe a set of data are called statistics. Three different statistics are used to measure the central tendency of a distribution. So we're trying to find the center of any list of scores. There are three ways to do that. One's the mode. That's the number that occurs most frequently or most often. There's the median, so if we line them, arrange them in order from largest to smallest or smallest to largest, this would be the middle number. You can remember that because when you're driving down a road that has cement in the middle, we call that the median strip. So this is the median, the middle. And the mean, this is the arithmetic average where we add all the numbers together and divide to how many there are. So let's use the stem and leaf plot to find the mode, median, and mean. And we're going to use a different stem and leaf plot. So we've got scores from 18 to 19s all the way up to a couple of 40s and 343s. So the mode is the number that occurs the most often. So as we look through this, let's look for the ones digit that occurs the most often. Looks like we've got a big group of sixes here, and that would be the score for 36. That would occur four times, so that would be the mode. Median score is the score in the middle. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 scores. We're looking for the score in the middle. That would be the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, tenth score. How do we know that's in the middle? Well, we've got nine scores in front of it and nine scores after it. That's in the middle, so that would be 31. What if there's an even number of scores, you're wondering? Well, then you're going to take the two scores in the middle, add them together, and divide it by two. All right, the mean is going to be the sum of all those scores from the 18, the 19, the 19, all the way to the 43, 43, and 43, divided by 19 scores. And to save us some work, I know we can know how to add and divide. So when we do that, we get 31.2. All right, let's find the mode median of the following distribution of scores. We got 5, cup 3 sixes, an 8, 10, 3 thirteens, a 16, and 18, 20. For the mode, looks like we've got a tie. 6 shows up 3 times, 13 shows up 3 times. So there's two modes, 6 and 13. 
Median, the number in the middle, we've got to make sure we have our scores ordered from lowest to highest or highest to lowest so we can find the one in the middle. And in this case, there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 scores. So we're grabbing the two in the middle that have five scores before it, five scores after it. Grab the two in the middle, add them together, divide it by two, and that median would be 11.5. That's just going to be our first look today at uh, representing data.